Hi friends, um, how are you today? Um, we're starting something really exciting and, and I thought I have to share this with you. Um, I'll go a little bit into the history <coughs> why I've decided to come live to you. Um, my name is Joy Fido and this particular series of what we're going to be doing it's, um, it's a spiritual journey. Um, so I say welcome to Joy Fido International because this is the part of our training where we try to inspire you to success. So um, everything we are in life starts from inside. It starts from the mind. And you find out that no matter what you're looking for out there, um, until your mind is really in that place that you want it to be, um, it becomes a problem. So once you can prepare the mind, then things start to work out really well. So I'll give you a little bit about why this all started. Um, I call this a new life. This series of programs that we're going to be bringing to you is called A New Life. Um, a lot has been happening to me um, recently and if you're one of those people who follow my social media um, activities, you find I've been a bit quiet. And when I'm quiet, um, usually it's because a lot is going on, mostly in my mind. So I've been having um, financial worries and I'm quite happy to say this to you. Um, I've been having emotional worries and I've been having uh, matrimonial worries and all of them have all come together to really mess around with my mind. It's been so bad that sometimes I thought, mm, should I really carry on with this journey of running a business or should I just shut it down and, and just start a new life um, but then thoughts keep coming back and it's like imagine the number of people out there that you're supporting which I know I do support quite a lot uh, what kind of message would you be sending to them when this happens so what did I do I decided to go all spiritual because I know when things starts to go completely wrong with you it's not just physical it's something extremely spiritual. And so what I decided to do was start reading up on all my spiritual books and I went on YouTube and I'm listening to so many people who were talking lots of things that help with the mind. So people like um, Eckhart Tolle, um, Bob Proctor, uh, Oprah Winfrey, I watched some of her videos and and then I have lots of books which I'm going to be showing you them, some of them and things started happening and I started stabilizing and that's why I've decided to come with you come to you with this series of program called a new life because it's about starting afresh so um, all these videos I've been watching have been helping me um, and then a family member became extremely ill. So then I'm thinking, how can I help her to also start stabilizing her state of mind? And then I remembered one book that I have that I recommended to a lot of people. And this book, I read a chapter of this book a long time ago and just one chapter did a lot to me. And so I thought, oh yeah, let me look at that book again before I give it out to see if this is really going to you know, serve the purpose that I'm thinking about. And I just went straight to the back because sometimes when you're extremely busy, which I am, I just thought, let me just go straight to the point and see what I can get out of this book quickly before I give it out. And that's when everything happened. And that's why I decided to come and um, chat with you about this. Um, and why then did I decide to start showing you a series of this program? I was watching um, a YouTube clip of this person called Gary V. Gary V. Uh, one of my clients recommended that I should watch it. And one of the things he says was, um, try and document every journey that you take on. Because when you do that, you help a lot of people as well in the process. 
and so I decided okay I'm going to document this but this is the exciting part before we go into the book that I'm really talking about I just want to show you the other books and that really really helps um, so if you're someone like me who likes reading you may start ordering them they are mostly on Amazon um, this is just not all of them but it's just the beginning and this particular one is a new earth um, by Eckhart Tolle this book Oprah Winfrey did a lot with it and it is absolutely amazing um, another one silence speaks um, oh, sorry stillness speaks again Eckhart Tolle you can take your time to read through that one I haven't really read that one um, walking with the law is another interesting one um, I actually watched a video that Bob Proctor did with this one and it's called the 11 laws the 11 forgotten laws of life and um, absolutely amazing book as well I've only read one chapter as well and that also made a lot of difference in my thinking um, another interesting one the strangest secret a uh, nightingale now I've listened to a lot of videos on DVDs by El Nightingale and <clears throat> he is an amazing person as well but this book is so small and it goes straight to the point so again it's up to you um, now where did I find some of these books um, it's from listening to all these tapes or DVDs that I'm talking about that they quote books like this and that's when I just go and buy them this one says as a man thinketh again very small and it's something that if you're really into books you find that they're so easy to read um this one mind power to the 21st century i've had this for a really long time and i i've actually read this one really deeply as well um i have lots of scribbles here and there that is also very very useful um and so there's another one they recommended as well psycho cybernetics I haven't read this so I really don't know much about this one but from um, Bob Proctor it sounds really really amazing so this is the journey I, I want us to go on this spiritual journey where we can start clearing whatever it is that's going on in our mind because um, what I tend to find is we we all sit there and think that things are so tough for all of us and we allow our bank account to dictate who we are we allow um the exam results to tell us that this is who we are and this is one of the new ones again i learned from Bob proctor that is not is not what the bank balance says that is the person that you are it's not a you know um exam result that determines who you are the person in you is a lot greater and that's another Eckhart Tolle one as well he, he explains that his story was he was at this point where he wanted to actually commit suicide because he was tired of the way things were going with him and he realized that he said to himself I can no longer live with myself and then he asked himself why who is this other person that I can no longer live with and that was when he realized that there's a deeper person in us than the physical, um, he calls it ego, the one that everybody sees that, you know, respond to people and, you know, is, is feeling hot and all kinds of things going on because of who we are now. So the person that everybody is seeing is not necessarily that spirit that God created you to become. And that's when the spiritual part of us comes in. And that's the kind of journey I want us to go on because once you go on that journey you find that everything going on around you is not really the real person that's inside you so the book that I want us to go on a journey with is this book called the purpose driven life purpose driven life further down it says what on earth am I here for now it's a question that lots of us ask all the time. We're wondering, what are we doing here? Why are we here? What, what is life all about? Um, I bought another book as well called Man's Search for Meaning. So again, it's kind of looking at similar thing. 
And what I did was, I went all the way to page um, 37. I don't know how come that happened. And page 30, no, not page 37, chapter 37. It says sharing, sharing your message. Um, sharing your message touched me because that's who I am. I love to share message. Um, all along, anything I experience, I share it with everybody. And I've always wondered, why do I do that? And so when I read this particular chapter, it all started happening in my head. And so what I'm going to do, I'll just read a few of those chapters, um, a few of those lines for you that I've underlined. Um, but what's interesting is, phone's ringing so we're trying to get that so it doesn't distract us oh luckily stop um before i go into the chapter of sharing your message i just want to tell you why this is going to be a journey for us and uh it's called a new life what i'm calling a new life after i read that that particular chapter i then went back to the beginning to see what this is all about and it says, this is more than a book. It says, it is a guide to a 40 day spiritual journey that will enable you to discover the answer to life's most important questions. So this is why I'm so excited about this because I'm believing that once we're done with this book, a lot of things will open up to us. We'll understand why some of the things that we're experiencing are happening. And it's interesting because what started pushing me to carry on searching and searching started with, you know, financial worries and emotional worries and, you know, family worries. And when I was watching Gary V the other day, something he said touched me and he said, it's not about how much money you have in your bank account. Because there's some people who have so much money in the bank and they are extremely poor, poor in spirit. They are extremely sad, they are extremely unhappy, but they have so much money. And so you find that lots of us think that until we have so much money, we cannot find happiness. That's not what it is. Money does not answer everything. But yes, we do need money. And I know I do a lot of videos trying to guide people on how to, you know, empower themselves financially. But spiritually is extremely important um watching all these various people as well one of the things that keeps coming out is any journey you want to go on that doesn't start with the spiritual side of things that is a wasted journey and that's why starting this journey on a new life i am really excited because it's going to take us to places that we never really knew existed or places that we haven't been thinking about and so what the book did which is really exciting he said it gave you like a kind of contract now it's up to you to either go get this book if you want to join me on this journey or you just wait patiently and we read it together on a daily basis for the next 40 days so he said to me he said um it is a contract that i have to sign and i'm going to really take this journey on and it, it it's so exciting because that shows me that i'm I'm definitely disciplined, ready for this. So I'm going to give this my very best so that um, we can see what will come out of this. It's up to you as well if you want to do the same thing. And so this is where it is. It says it's a covenant um, that you have to sign. And so once you've signed, emotionally, spiritually, you're ready to take this journey on. That's what it is. And I tell you why it's really interesting. Um, which I've also read in other places. Uh, there's something about 40 days that works with God. He said, Noah's life was transformed by 40 days of rain. Um, Moses was transformed by 40 days on my Mount Sinai. Um, the spies were transformed by 40 days in the promised land. David was transformed by Goliath's 40 day challenge. Elijah was transformed when God gave him 40 days of strength from a single meal. The entire city of Nineveh was transformed when God gave the people of gave the people 40 days to change. Jesus was empowered by 40 days in the wilderness. 
The disciples were transformed by 40 days with Jesus after his resurrection. So 40 days means a lot to God and that's why I'm, I'm hoping that you'll be happy to take on this 40 days journey with me. So let God transform you into a new person by changing the way you think. Then you will know what God wants you to do. And that's the journey we're on. The journey we're on is a purpose-driven life. We want to see what our mission is on this earth and see the things that could help us begin to develop as people, not just about the bank account, not just about the um, exam result, not just about our friends, not just about our family, about what it is that we're really here to do. And you remember I said I went straight to uh, chapter 37, sharing your life message. We will get there when we start the 40 day journey. But I tell you why this excited me so much that I decided um, to share this with you and start this journey. He said, God is a passionate God. He passionately loves some things and passionately hates other things. As you grow closer to him, he will give you a passion for something he cares about deeply so you can be a spokesman for him in the world. It may be a passion about a problem, about a purpose, about a principle or a group of people. Now, how amazing is that? Because this has been me sharing my passion with you all the time. You know, I, I love skills and I, I want everybody to, you know, know the, the power that's in their hands and how once they can put that power in their hands, things start to change for them in life. And why it's so, it's so interesting and why I thought I really should share with you is when I share my skill and my knowledge with you you share something with me which is you buy the dvds you download the dvds you follow me on various channels you know youtube instagram wherever by you giving me something and me giving you something we're sharing to each other and one of the things that happened was an interesting scenario with one of my students who was in training and things started to go really, really badly with her and suddenly she couldn't carry on with the training. And that touched me as well because, you know, she desperately wants to take on this skill and change something in her life. But now things have gone so down with her and she really can't continue. So again, it, it gets the message really clear that if, if things are not okay with you, then they're really eventually not okay with me. So if I'm trying to make me better, then I might as well help to make you better as well. And that's why we're on this journey. Because if you um, begin to see the value of who you are and see how you can change your life for the better, and I'm supporting you to also help you see that, then we are gonna be feeding on each other. Like you get things from me and I get things from you. And that way life becomes a lot easier. Um, one of the things that uh, Bob Proctor talks about, which really really is exciting is is this is this law of opposites or or i don't know how to put it law of opposites in the sense of you know you give and you take and that's how it is it's also one of the things in this um laws that i showed you the book on the on the 11 forgotten laws people generally think that most of us generally think that it's all about taking all the time we just want to take and you see most of us will go on youtube and we just want to um, look at various things that people have done. I've had so many scenarios where we do a video and then I'll say this is a this is um, just a, a test out. Have a look at this and then if you think this is what you want go down and order the DVD or, or download the DVD and, and or the video and you hear people go back I, why should I pay money for that when I can get it somewhere else and so lots of people um, have this habit of I just want to take, I never want to give. But it goes around. This goes around. If you never give anybody, how would you expect people to give you as well? And that's just the way it is. That's where the laws of opposites come in. So whenever you want to take something from anyone, be willing to give as well. And one of the biggest things I'm asking myself um, right now is, what else can I give to the world? Because when you can give something to the world, you know, they call it the universe. The universe gives you something back. And so all these years, I'm happy to give and happy to give. 
and then I start to realize that okay there are people out there who still don't get this message that life is about giving and taking and we're gonna try and see what will come out of this 40 days but I'm really excited and um, I hope you are as well and we'll, we'll take on this challenge and read through it but from the little bit I read especially on that page 37 I am really excited because I'll tell you another part that's really interesting. Um, it's something really exciting I read. It says, he wants you to share your story with others. He said, sharing your testimony is an essential part of your mission on earth because it is unique and there is no other story just like yours. Um, so only you can share it. If you don't share it, it will be lost forever. But you are the authority on your life, and it's hard to argue with personal experience. Now, how powerful is this? How powerful is a message like this? Because what happens to us generally as people is we tend to down, downgrade our experiences in life. We, we tend to look down on it. And I can't remember where I've heard this, but somebody said, um, most times what we know we think it's nothing because we feel that oh yeah but i know it so we automatically assume that everybody knows it but that's why we are wrong because something you know does not necessarily mean that everybody knows it i mean i have instances this is this is an interesting one um one of my friends she's she's an optician and amazing at her job and when it comes to hair she can't she can't hold a tongue and in my head i'm thinking how can you not know how to hold a tongue do you see how that is because automatically i'm thinking oh yeah it's only a tongue you can curl the hair in seconds and she says joy i have no idea what to do with this and so that that just goes to explain to you that what you know somebody else may necessarily not know it and there are so many people like that out here or out there so when you gain a skill or gain a knowledge or have an experience about life it is your experience it is your skill you know that thing so it's for you to perfect that thing and get good at that thing and then go out there and share it and that's what this book is trying to tell us that we need to look into ourselves because everything that we know god has planted it into us and that was a huge eye opener for me because my personal experience is i mean um, I've come all the way from Nigeria and you know further further back into from a place called Ogoni and my village is such a tiny little village and you know people from there will barely really do travel and I've traveled all the way down here and I've set up a business and I'm you know carrying on with my business and doing things so and I'm touching the world that is a lot for me to to even begin to contemplate so it's about you knowing that that journey that you have taken is not it didn't just happen there's a reason that journey happened and i remember one of the videos i did recently where i was talking about my matrimonial issues something had clicked in my head that there are so many women out there in the world who are going through similar things so it may not necessarily be because god wants me to suffer that's why i'm experiencing that I realized that I'm meant to be a voice for these women who are really going through these difficult times. And that's when I just came up and did that video without even reading this book. So when I read this book, everything came back pouring out in my head. Like, oh my goodness, this is what this is actually meant to be. It says your experiences, you know, there's a part here that, that is really, really interesting as well. He says, you should not expect everyone else to be passionate about your passion. So whatever you are passionate about, God has put it there for you to be passionate about it. But what we have to do is we must listen to and value each other's life message. So your passion is a life message. It says God uses passionate people to further his kingdom. And so this is what this whole journey is going to be about. That's why I wanted to bring to you so um be ready for this journey is a 40-day journey um but i wanted you to also 
say this i have this card um that's one of the things he advises as well he says um get yourself a card and what you're going to be doing each chapter that we read um we scribble the important messages from that chapter into that card and so it's going to be um a one chapter card so whichever message whatever message i find in each card i will note it there and so when i start chatting with you tomorrow you'll be messages from that chapter talking about what's happening there and then we'll just review it and talk about it and so i'm excited i'm really looking forward to this and you know something interesting that uh, bob proctor said was um he said some of us go out there and we're looking for energy we wonder where the energy is coming from and it's really true you know sometimes we're drinking coffee and we drinking various things and you know uh, there's definitely that energy drink you drink and the advert is about it gives you wings very interesting but what he said which was really touching is when something comes from the spirit that the amount of energy you will have will be shocking and this is so shocking for me because I've been really down lately and you know struggling to make sense of things around me and suddenly I pick up this book and I read that page or that chapter and I don't know where the energy came from so that just goes to confirm that everything we're dealing with is coming from the spirit so once your spirit is excited about something that energy you're looking for is there you say the energy is in you and I am so I am so tuned in right now, ready to deal with this. Um, and you're gonna find that once you understand where your journey is going, you already have all the answers. And that's why the bank account or the exam results and all of that, they do not matter because you have a purpose on this and you have a mission. I've, I've talked about mission over and over, but I had no clue it was this exciting because Personally, I am the kind of person who I am so curious about anything around me and and I, I I can honestly say that's what's pushed me as far as I've gone in life. I want to know about food. I want to know what makes people healthy. I want to know how I can help people with skills that they can go and make money for themselves. I want to know about clothes. I want to know about makeup. I want to know about how people can develop personally so that they're strong. And I did this neuro linguistic programming course. So I'm always excited about things, and I don't care how much I have to invest in this knowledge because for me, knowledge is power. And that's why when I started the training, and I'm seeing people so laid back, no matter how much we we drop the price, sometimes people are still saying to me, "But it's 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 expensive because they are looking at things that are too physical." But I know all the people I've trained over the years are doing amazing things with the skills I've shared with them. So this book is going to change all that for me. Um, because definitely um, I'm going to appreciate all the passion that God has put in me now. And I'm going to know that when I share my passion, I share with people who absolutely appreciate it as well. People who believe in what I am trying to share with them. And I'm not going to be putting my energy in the wrong places. So, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow when we carry on with this journey. And thank you so much for watching it. And I'm hoping that something too will change in your life when we finish this journey. Thank you.